Hello everyone, I'm Nan Sai Hu. Today I will show you guys my recent research work on my cognitive re on the cognitive reader research. And today's topic is of one kind of cognitive attacker. It's a cognitive attacker in a cognitive reader system. And the title of the demo is an investigation of the most active band attack in a cognitive radio network. So what is the most active band attack? The most active band attack is a malicious OCR node or agent senses and monitors the signal activities over each band through its spectrum sensing function and then attacks uh, the band with has the most signal activities to achieve its maximal attack outcome. So it can be viewed as a cognitive uh, interference which is really smart because it has the spectrum sensing and the cognitive engine capability. This is a mathematical description of the MAP attack. And following this is the efforts when a MAP attack is involved in a CR network. First of all, it's a follower interference. Say if you uh, change your transmission frequency, the attacker can uh, still follow you to the new frequency band. And most important thing is the CR's inherent signal or interference avoidance capability through its spectrum sensing is no longer effective in countering a MAP attacker. And also, the conventional frequency hopping based method is also no longer effective since the MAP attacker can follow the CR to the new operating band. So for this uh, attacker, we propose a uh, solution or countermeasure strategy called coordinate uh, concealment strategy and we also develop the power control capability on the CCS. Okay, so for more detailed work, you can refer to the paper we published on the transac IEEE transaction on wireless communication uh, 2012 issue 3. It's called the most active band attacker and countermeasure in a cognitive radio network. Now I will show you guys a demo. This is our Tesla bed. We have two USRP and a PC set. So each USRP is connected to a PC and on that PC we are programming the radio we want and download to make a specific radio we want. And we also have a spectrum analyzer to monitor the signal activity on the, on the frequency domain and we have a signal generator. So first of all, let's turn on a radio through this spectrum, through the signal generator. Okay, in the spectrum domain we can find that there is a signal. And on this side, we run our attacker. So attacker is running. And here we can find, okay, there are some capacity signal activities. Say so the attacker is covered on the, on the same frequency of the good signal. Okay, let's change the frequency of the good guy. So if I, so we can find, okay, the attacker still follow the, the good guys. So if we turn off, the, the good guy, we can look at the attacker clearly, it's here. So we turn on the good guy, and say the good guy changed the frequency to avoid the attacker. But you can find, the attacker still follow you, and we turn off the good guy again. You find the attacker also changed to this new band. Okay, now we use another USRP to do a frequency hopping signal. Because frequency hopping is used to uh, be viewed like a good way to counter a single band interference. We turn off this one. So here we just have a frequency hopping signal can see from the spectrum analyzer.
and actually our attacker is follow this one. So if we turn off the, the good guy, the, spec, uh, the frequency hopping signal, we'll find the attacker is on the, on the last of the frequency the good guy is reached. So if we turn on the good guy again, I turn off the good guy again. See, the attacker just uh, at where the good guy used to be. Okay, thanks for watching. For more information, you can refer to the paper we published. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Another scenario we want to verify is say we have two signals in the network. And we start the first signal generated by the signal generator. And then we turn on the second radio. It's a frequency hopping radio by the USRP. So we see a big signal is a fixed point signal and a small signal is a frequency hopping signal. And now we turn on the map attacker. And view the, the signal activities. Okay, since this one has a bigger signal activity than the frequency hopping guy. So the map attacker will interference to this bigger, bigger guy. So let's turn off the frequency hopping one and turn off this one. Yeah, we can find, okay, the map attacker is there. Okay, so if we have this one, have this, this one, and we have the frequency hopping one as well. But at this time, I will turn off the big, the, the fixed frequency one first. So the map attacker will follow the frequency hopping one. To view it more clearly, I will shut down the frequency hopping one. You'll see the map attacker is here. It's the last point of the frequency hopping one. Okay, thank you.